Um, we all know this is complicated. Wellness is social, physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual. There's a financial component. And once a year, I get my little wheel out and see where I am on a 1 to 10 scale. And it's never looked like a wheel yet. And I think it's a path we're all on. Um, and so as I was asked to speak tonight, the first thing they said is, well, tell your story. What is your story about all this sort of stuff? And we know that we are evolving as a culture, and I get all my medical news from The Economist, <laughs> where we're going from A, but I think this is what we must look like. I heard this morning that 70% of all the population of Mexico is obese because of their vitamin T, tortillas, tacos, and tostadas. And we know that childhood obesity is on the rise, diabetes is on the rise, smoking is on the rise, and we're not very active. And we as a culture and a community have an obligation not only to ourselves, but to our children, which is usually how I get people. Um, you know, if you don't want to do it for you, remember that your child is watching you. They learn how to eat from you. So my journey is simple. About uh, 15 years ago, I came to Boulder, and I had been a medical resident, and I was fat, and I had hypertension, and uh, my cholesterol was through the roof. My dad had a heart attack at 37, and I was on my way. And uh, I had the good fortune to run across a great primary care provider who sat me down one day and said, let's do your wellness wheel. And I can tell you at that time, it did not look like a wheel at all. It was a very small triangle. And work was probably the most important thing, and that was about it. And with great motivation from my care team, I was able to get a little slimmer with exercise and eating less, good meditation program, uh, strong yoga background, um, and just a general, more round wheel. And that's what we strive for. And again, if we can't do it ourselves here in Boulder, we can't do it anywhere. 